Do you ever have one of those days when you're trying to get back into vlogging and you just pick up a camera and then you realise it's got no power? Right, basically, I'm going off to uh, the far side of London today because that should be where we can pick up an old mattress. I don't think we can fit it in the back of my car, so we're going to put it in my wife's new diesel mobile. Not impressed. I, she's going to get a Model X, I think, but for now, she's borrowing a work car. Although her diesel Merc is still around, for anyone who's wondering, it's just uh, can't fit a mattress in the back of it. So we're going in two separate cars. We've got to take two because Jasper's got to go in the back of a car on the way back. Uh, and I need to set off early because I'm going to be driving a little bit slower than Soph. Um, mainly to conserve energy, because otherwise I'll have to charge on route. Which I might do anyway, I'm going to stop gassing and go. See you in a minute. Oh jeez, the camera is basically out of power. I have decided, rather than driving really, really slowly, uh, which is boring and time consuming, I would drive at a normal speed and ecotricity the car, because it's basically, it's 90 miles each way, which is uncomfortably far. Even on a 90% charge. Ugh. Yeah, so I figure if I just stop and uh, it'll make everything easy. And besides any old excuse to charge, actually I haven't done a lot of charging recently because over the summer it's been so nice and warm, my efficiency's been brilliant. Okay, so what I want to talk about today is it's going to be battery care because I watched a video from a guy called uh, Sean Mitchell, I think it was. I'll leave a um, link in the description to his video. It was very interesting. He had a uh, Model S 60 it was. Come on, why is he at frozen? That's not a good sign. There we go. Scam I'm cute. One second. I've got to put a new card in. Hang on a minute. Yeah, this is the big difference between apps and uh, superchargers, where you just turn up and it's all easy. Right, number on card. I literally have to put a whole new... Unbelievable faff. Um, just give me a second. Okay, maybe the old card uh, expired or something, I don't know. Okay, car's charging. Apparently it's going to take 30 minutes, which is ideal, because I'll put in about 15, 20 minutes, which will be about the length of time it takes me to go to the loot and grab a coffee. So, Sean Mitchell, interesting video. Basically, he had this 60 kilowatt hour Model S, and he's worked in real estate, so he would drive every day and run the car down to zero, maybe twice, charge it all the way back up to 100%. He had it charged to 100% basically every day and guess what about 70 80 thousand miles later he was driving along and he had 34 miles left on the dash apparently and then the car clonked out basically he talked to Tesla and they said yeah you need a new battery this one's toast and um, he had some useful and very correct tips on battery care things like don't go below 30 percent unless you can help it don't go above 80% ideally, but certainly 90%. Don't leave it in a high state of charge when it's warm. All, all these sorts of good things that I've said many, many times before. And that brings me to my car. Now, I don't know exactly how much degradation I've had on my battery, but I've done over 103,000 miles and uh, it said 210% to, wait, it's a two, sorry, it's a 210 miles at 90%, so that would be 331, and it was 342, so we're talking about 5, 6% degradation over 103,000 miles, which is, you know, even if it is slightly higher than that, uh, in reality, and the car's just not quite adding it up correctly, I'm still perfectly happy with that, it's obviously in the right ballpark, maybe even slightly ahead of the curve, I don't know, although Tesla batteries do last a long time. Right, I'm gonna leave this Chadmo to do its thing then. Yeah, coffee time. Okay, coffee in hand. Let's see how the car's doing. Uh, what are we on? 171 minus 100. Uh, we'll give it another five, 10 minutes. Okay, this is for my run. 
hopefully, after I get home later. So, looking after batteries, I definitely think is a worthwhile thing to do. Also, actually, another piece of information that he uh, gave me in his video, apparently the price of a new battery is, what did he say, fifteen to $20,000, which is about what I expected, to be honest. Although, I would imagine the price will come down quite a bit over time. I think it's already come down a fair amount. I'm sure somebody said about £20,000 to me a good old while ago. Anyway, so, you know, it's all it's all doable. And one nice thing about Teslas is, at least with Model S's at least, the battery packs are all the same size, so they kind of are swappable, as far as I know, which is awesome. It's put in 33 miles. This is a very handy boost to the starting 210. I could have charged it up to 100%. It would have been 231-odd, but I don't want to. And, you know, I, I really do try and charge to 100% as infrequently as possible because I don't want to have to buy a new battery for my car. Actually this guy had done quite a similar kind of range to me now I think, so just over a hundred thousand miles. It's amazing how quickly these cars rack up the mileage. Oh my word. I'm sure there was something else I was going to mention. I mean I do, I, personally I, I've always been somebody who wants to keep things going for as long as possible. You know, I like things that are gonna last forever, effectively. That's why I always used to have a thing about mechanical weight wind watches, I loved them. Anything like that, like solar panels, little batteries that you charge it from solar panels, I love them, because, you know, they'll work forever, more or less. And, you know, that's how I like to try and treat my car. I like to try and be as gentle as possible with the battery, because that's the bit that's gonna wear out the quickest on it. And so far, it seems to be doing okay. I have definitely waffled on long enough and I need to go get this mattress now. So, see you in a bit. Right, it's started tapering the charge now because 100 amps is what the charger will normally do at full power and we're doing less than that now. So, that seems like about time for me to unplug. One pound 61, boom. Good old Chatamo adapter. Uh, I need to tidy up here. Uh, Oscar and Hamish very kindly sent me a couple of bags that can make that whole, I think they call it the coffin area in the bottom. They're gonna, it's gonna tidy it all up, it's gonna be great. But uh, I haven't set that up yet. But I do wanna say a big thank you to them for sending that to me, because that was a really nice, I came back from my dad's funeral and, and it was there, which was a really nice sort of surprise. Okay, so we're here and Soph has already arrived and got the mattress in the back of her car. And um, yeah, so that's, that's handy. We're gonna grab some lunch now. I just wanted to quickly make one point about Sean Mitchell's video. He does say the third, there are three things he says you shouldn't do to your battery. Run it low, yeah. Run it high, yeah. And the third thing he says is supercharging. Now, supercharging in and of itself, I don't think is the problem it's heat that's the problem and that becomes an extra big problem if you then supercharge up to 100 percent so i always stop at well 90 percent really if i go any further than that firstly it's charging very slowly not much faster than it would from a wall socket and secondly it's not good for the battery it just doesn't it, it doesn't make any sense to me you know if you want to minimize your charging time and you want to charge when the battery is low and not charge very high and that way it will charge very quickly now obviously you don't want to run the battery really low it's 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 all just a balancing act this whole problem has been caused by the fact that there are still a lot of people out there who know how to care for NICAD batteries. And they're running around telling people the NICAD care tips, which are perfectly valid for the old NICAD batteries they've got in their strimmer and stuff. They're no good for a car with lithium ion batteries. You know, different chemistries, and they like to be treated slightly differently. I just realized if I don't get move on, I'm going to be anti-socially late. So lock the car. Go. Tesla's security has improved quite a lot recently. They added a pin to start function, something that I thought was a good idea for a long time anyway. That's kind of one of the reasons why I normally used to leave the car in valet mode when it was parked up overnight, because you can't take it out of valet mode without the pin code. It limits the speed, acceleration, but much better to have a pin code to start. You've got to love those software updates. 
and the fact that my four and a bit year old car is still getting them. My mobile phone isn't getting them. Still into his football. Um, I like your bed hair, Jasper, by the way. Yeah. Look at that. Ah, ah. Take it your head. That's perfect. That's awesome. Proper cook bed hair. Boom. Going home now to uh, try and squeeze a quick run in because I am getting the whole running thing sorted, fitness and all the rest of it. It's like it's like a bunch of New Year's resolutions, I guess. Partly it's kind of a bit of a rejuvenation of life and everything. Because, um, you know, it's, it's a real end of an era thing for me and my family at the moment, unfortunately. But I can always try and turn that into a positive by, you know, turning it into a positive, I guess, you know. What else can you do? Right, anyway, so, quick, shoot home, do a quick run. And 80 miles. I think it's about, yeah, it's more or less 30%, 32%, 33% left. So that's good. Don't want to do any undue aging of my battery. Oh, I need that. That's my water bottle for my run. Hang on, one more thing. Just set the charge level down a bit because I don't need to charge it to 90%. I'm dying for the loo. <laughs> ah, too much coffee. Not enough stopping and charging. Right, I'm gonna do a very, very quick 10K now. Oh my goodness. Ah. By the way, anyone who's wondering how Jasper is getting home, given that he obviously didn't come home with me, we've completely forgotten that uh, he could go in the front seat of Mummy's car, and of course, because Mummy's car is new, he wants to go do that. Right, well, speaking of the devil, Oh, I'm loving running at the moment. So getting back into it. Ah, oh, righty. I'm gonna say goodbye for the day. As I have absolutely no doubt that my uh, previous outro that I recorded um, on the run is not gonna be usable, probably because of horrific camera shake. So I'm gonna say goodbye again. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, meant to like it, share it, subscribe if you haven't already, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Although I don't use either that much, but I will do more in the future. And I'll see you in the next episode of my vlog. Bye. By the way, sorry about the lack of B-roll. Uh, all my cameras are run out of power. It'll be charging. Whew. Right.